Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aqua Pros. Today we're going to show you how to make your own surface skimmer for your aquarium. Now skimmers are great for aquariums that lack surface disruption where bacterial biofilms may develop. They're also totally customizable to provide both mechanical and biological filtration. So let's start the build. For this project, you'll need a small, medium, or large size power head. We're using one that's rated at about 200 gallons per hour, and it'll work perfect in our 20 gallon aquarium. The size and strength of the one you decide to use will dictate how fast your water is filtered. You'll also need a clear plastic bottle with a cap. We recommend using one that's close to 17 ounces, like the one you see. Try and find one that's uniform in shape, so it'll look more aesthetically pleasing in your tank. Last, you'll need some type of biological and mechanical filtration media. We're choosing to use ceramic rings and chopped up pieces of filter pad. You can use any type of biomedia you want, but we will require the filter padding. Start by delabeling the bottle and removing all the leftover residue. Then, cut off the bottom of the bottle near the very end. Because of the way we're going to position this filter in our tank, you may have to make this cut higher up if you have a smaller aquarium. Then, take a marker and draw several small triangles all the way around the end of the bottle we just cut. We suggest making these triangles an inch to an inch and a half long and about a half an inch wide. Then cut out the triangles with scissors so the end of your bottle ends up looking like this. We're then going to drill a hole out in the cap of our bottle big enough to fit the intake of our power head. The size of this hole will depend on the size of the power head that you're using. Take your time on this step because we want to ensure that our power head fits as tight as possible into the cap. Making sure that our connection is snug, we can now move on to adding media. First we add ceramic rings to about the halfway mark on the bottle. Then add in about a handful of cut up filter padding. This will provide good mechanical filtration prior to our biological step. And like that, our skimmer is now complete, so let's put it in a tank and see how it works. We position the skimmer with the power head upside down. The notches we cut for the intake sit about halfway above the water column, allowing water to be drawn in and pulled through our media. Since we added ceramic rings to this filter, we not only skim the water effectively, but also get good biological filtration. The first thing you'll notice is this type of filter allows a modest amount of air to pass through, which will increase the ability of our beneficial bacteria to grow and detoxify ammonia. If you had a biofilm growing on the air water interface prior to adding this filter, you'll notice that it will quickly diminish. Therefore, you may have to change the filter padding out in the next few days. If you're curious about biofilms, who they're caused by and why, we'll go behind the science in another video. Ready for the next project? Or how about some aquarium science? Check out DIYAquapros.com, follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more content, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Hey, thanks for watching.